Let's shift our focus to Ethiopia. The month-long conflict between the federal government and the powerful regional government of Tigray has escalated in the past week or so. The latest coming in that the Ethiopian government has claimed that a senior politician linked to the rebellion in the northern region of Tigray has surrendered. A post retweeted by Ethiopia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says that one of the nine executive committee leaders of the TPLF has surrendered to federal forces. These claims are difficult to verify as of now because the phone and internet communications to the region is down and access has been tightly controlled. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed, who is the winner of last year's Nobel Peace Prize, ordered military operations against the leaders of Tigray's ruling party, the Tigray's People's Liberation Front, or the TPLF, as it is known as. In response to what he claims are the TPLF organized attacks on Ethiopian federal army camps. The civilians have become pawns in this blame game as of now. Meanwhile, the United Nations is showing concerns over the humanitarian crisis that the ongoing conflict has unfolded. According to the refugee agency, more than 96,000 Eritrean refugees in the northern Tigray region are in urgent need of some basic amenities. Yeah, the UN Refugee Agency is today appealing to the federal authorities in Ethiopia for urgent access in order to reach Eritrean refugees in the Tigray region who are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance and services. Our concerns are growing by the hour. The UN official also revealed that unconfirmed reports are pouring in suggesting attacks, abductions and forced recruitment at the refugee camps. Bulldozers are tearing down trees by the dozen to make way for shelters and provide firewood for refugees.